him and I'm at it again The crystal arrow calling my name Down a gravel road, box full of fur And a mystery in the next deal were Catching the first made me a believer What a day, guys. What a season. Well, you guys won't be able to see real well. We're starting early today. Uh, we're pulling a lot of line, but I'm checking the kind of the highway route first. Um, get these animals taken off the highway before it gets too light. But uh, first coon of the day of check six. Big day planned. Um, definitely feeling the burn a little bit, you know. Tired, wore out, but feeling good overall, you know. Just the... The mental and physical grind of this is, is taking its toll, but that's all right. We're going to keep pushing right through it. Well, good morning. Uh, nice, bright, crisp morning, about 30 degrees. Uh, it's chilly. I'm definitely feeling it a little bit this morning. Uh, but we got our nice, uh, this caught one actually a couple days ago. Not necessarily a big one, but... We're pulling this piece of line anyway, so it's always good to be grabbing one on the last day. Uh, you know, same thing like we do always. Timber, corn. This actually happens to be a farm entrance on the other side, but uh, we got another spot literally just right down here we're pulling. And I think pulling yesterday took it out of me. Um, I'm hurting pretty good. I mean, feel good. Uh, like, it's hard to explain. I'm sore and tired. It's like that good workout. You feel really sore afterwards, but it's a good sore, so... Uh, we'll get him pulled out of here and keep moving. We're going to have a really big day, I hope. Oh, heck. Makes me really... That's a good coon. Makes me really upset about pulling it when we just grabbed that coon out of the 220 up the road. Uh, he's a real decent coon, but we got fresh parts of the line to go to, and that's something I, I kind of struggle with sometimes. Probably my weakest point um, with anything I do trapping is, is pulling gear, moving to fresh ground. Uh, it's hard for me to want to pull stuff up when we're still catching But at the same time, I know my catch ratio is going to be substantially higher on the new ground. So um, Probably my weakest point with this is just you know You want to stay and make it pay but at the same time It's gonna pay a whole lot better once you move and that's part of the you know find your drive guys because It's so easy. Just you know, you don't want to pull traps. Everybody hates pulling gear But it's something has to be done if we're gonna keep this line productive Heck, a few days ago we had a tree shaker, now we got a fence shaker. He's climbing up on that pole, shaking the whole freaking fence. Oh, another nice one though. Oh. Another nice coon. Uh, big boy, real big boy. We've taken a lot of coon off this trail. Uh, this is probably, I think every day we've caught something here, including a couple doubles. So uh, anyway, we're, we're leaving these sets out. Uh, got a lot of stuff pulled already gonna pull some more but uh one of the few locations I still got standing corn um, I think I said that yesterday and this is probably one of the the main reasons this is productive so get him taken care of get out of here <sighs> well, we got a coon under our uh, tree shaker tree uh, where I had to get real creative um, when we had the competition so uh, I think this is our third coon out of this uh, doing pretty good I think I'm wearing out Briar. I'm sending him down a few ditches pulling today. Um, he drove all the way up here from Arkansas to ride with me today. So putting him to work, showing him what these Iowa ditches are about. <laughs> but we're going to get him taken care of and uh, pulling this whole section. And I'm excited for some fresh ground. Finally getting some life to me. Uh, just every morning takes a little bit longer for me to get going, it seems like. But get him taken care of and uh, get out of here. <sighs> This is a great spot. A lot of coon sign. A lot of coon sign. But you can also see, which you guys probably can't in the camera, there's a little spot right here where the beaver are traveling. Then we got a small dam here with a crossover. You can actually see a little bit lighter ice where he busted through, but this gets really soft mud. I know that. 
Bear with me. We might be going in over our britches. But we got, looks like a pretty good one. Yeah, not bad. Good adult. Uh, we'll try to probably reset this. Uh, Briar's the beaver guy and he says it's not in head yes. So uh, we can just see all the corn and stuff in here. Um, back on the other side of the road behind Briar, they got a real big dam, denning area, which we're going to hit later. But I just couldn't resist sitting kind of a, I wouldn't even call it a bottom edge, but just a nice little channel set here. Um, so we're going to reset this and uh, see what we come up with. Well, I see my goats did not show up for their appointment today. Uh, kind of frustrating, you know, if you're going to schedule an appointment, you better be here. But that makes six for six on this trail. Uh, just phenomenal trail, which really blows me away. It's beans on the other side. We do have a little farm set up here, but um, just kind of blows me away. You know, when that's corn, I've never noticed it this good. But today, six for six, we're going to leave this until we pull this whole road. But uh, another good stop. We got deer chasing deer here. All right, buddy. There they come out. across the road right in front of us. Well, he might be a little better than what I thought just. Closer he gets. Oh yeah. Not too. They were just starting uh, the early signs of uh, chasing Saturday evening when uh, my stepdaughter killed her nine or eight point. Bah, bah. That's pretty deer. Oh yeah, he's be real still. They might come out literally. They might come out to us. So I definitely have a lot to learn about trails and such. Something about this is skunk. This is three days in a row we've had a skunk in this trail. I caught a coon the day before that, but we've caught three skunks in three days here. Uh, pretty incredible, really. So we'll get him taken care of and uh, keep moving, but real pretty skunk, real good one. Well, we got us a nice high bank trail here. We've done really good on this. Today we come up to a nice double, which is pretty awesome on day six. Uh, you can, if you look, you can tell the trail going right over the rocks here, They're going right past them, up and over. Uh, one little guy, one decent sized coon, but uh, the water is down there. I don't know, just one very appealing. Uh, not a lot of banks I could really get any good sets in. So we settled for the high bank and uh, nice dry fluffy coon, pair of them, can't beat that. Well, I told Briar we're gonna pull this spot and uh, coon paw some double on it, which is great. Uh, you can kind of see the trail winding up through there at the same time, winds up through there. Uh, same thing over and over, cut corn coming from timber. Uh, you know, I sound like a broken record, I know that, but I can't stress that enough. Uh, I can actually see they started to disc this up or, or plow it a little bit. Um, that'll start kind of, won't make a huge impact, but once they start turning that corn under, it's not quite as appealing. But anyway, get them taken care of and get down the road, fellas. Yeah, we got a little coon down here in a one and a half. Ain't no monster by any means, but looks like we missed out. We missed another one too. 
uh, here got away on us. Um, which in the possum specials don't happen normally. But anyway, not much water here. Uh, but we did set a few pockets and uh, picked up coon. But we're pulling this today anyway. Most of this piece here, other than the the really good timber to timber locations we're leaving. But uh, picking up a few in the water, uh, which I just don't really care for. <laughs> it's definitely not my style. But anyway, get him taken care of and get out of here. Well, hay bale locations going six for six now. Uh, I'm just going to leave this here. Honestly, probably just see how many I can get in a row. Just kind of to see. But anyway, we're pulling a lot of stuff and it's going pretty well. Uh, Briar's a freaking tank, so he can just yank these suckers out for me. I should just sit in the truck and eat bear claws. But uh, anyway, we're going to get him taken out of here and get the rest of this line pulled and hopefully be done by noon. And I'd love to get about 200 more locations set. That'd be pretty awesome. Well, we're pulling this area. Uh, Briar was just telling, asking me if, how much the ground's changed since I trapped this 20 years ago. This used to be a big wooded draw that all went right up to the road. Used to be, I mean, even where this grass is now was timber. A uh, nice 220 trail on it, but uh, farmers always taking stuff out. Um, we got a nice coon down here today when we're pulling. We got geese flying. Just a really good day. Uh, still picking up quite a few coon considering the amount of line that's out and what we're pulling and being day six. Nice paracoon here. Uh, this is one of those spots that we're leaving too uh, just because it's it's that good. Uh, you know we're pulling a lot of the dead stuff, a lot of dead ends so we can you know this section when we first set it probably took two and a half hours to run. Uh, after a day it's going to take us about 30 minutes but it's all the best of the best. So uh, get this nice double taken care of and we'll get out of here. Oh, here's another one we're pulling today. You can see the trail behind them. Uh, actually just a farm entrance. Down here on this bottom, we got a pair of 220s that did pretty good early, kind of died off. Uh, still waiting for them to come across to that old pond over here. I think we'll still pick up another one or two down there, but these kind of high and dry ridge runners, as I call them, uh, generally only good for a couple coon. I think this is the second one we caught on it. We're yanking it so we have more time to run more ground, more fresh ground later on. Well, location 518 made its first catch of the year. Uh, we're pulling this piece too here. I got a nice little buck rub on that tree also, but uh, nice big cedar tree. Guess what? Corn. First catch on this. Kind of surprised. It's normally a really good spot for three or four, but uh, anyway, we'll take him and keep on pulling the line. Got a nice big guy down here now. Uh, pretty close to wrapping this line up, at least the old stuff. Almost noon. We'll check a few of our new locations, hopefully take us to one, and then from one to dark, we're gonna set like mad. But uh, you can see this trail here. It's actually going up to beans, uh, but we got a good good uh, draw behind us, kind of a cattle lot. Um, still surprised did this good. Normally when it's corn, we do really well here, but beans, uh, yeah, I'm surprised. So get him taken care of and get out of here. Well, here we are, the last of our older stuff. Got a pretty decent coon here. Going up on this kind of land trail coming out of the culvert. Uh, now we're on to kind of a, the stuff that's only got a one day check. Uh, and then set like crazy. But good to be picking up coon on stuff that's, you know, been set for a little while. But we're hustling. Very next location after that double of fresh ground. That's a big coon. That is a really big coon. So we're moving. I want to get at least 80 fresh sets out today, so it's about 1 o'clock, give or take. Well, not a whole lot of daylight left for what we want to do, so we're moving, guys. Fresh ground makes all the difference. This is only our second check on this. Uh, and we were, I don't know, we got six coon now, just off of, what, four spots? Yeah. Something like that. Yeah. So Concrete. we are, we're laying them down, so we're going to finish them up. I uh, can't wait to get some more stuff in the ground. It's going to be pretty awesome. Yeah, I'm starting to second guess if these trails have come in yet or not. <laughs> Who am I kidding? This is awesome. Don't get no better than that. That's my wife's uh, 
I love setting this, but my wife hates it because it's my skunk trail. So I told her I was going to set that today. So she made me a pretty sign. Raccoon use only. So we'll set that right here. They'll, uh, they'll be able to see it, but I told her I would. I told her I would. Well, I just uh, dispatched one of the biggest skunks probably I've caught in my career. Uh, this thing's absolutely massive. Made me a little nervous doing it right alongside of the highway, but uh, really good skunk. And he is KO'd. Oh, we got a possum down here. Whew, glad that wasn't a skunk that I didn't see. But yeah, that is big and beautiful. <laughs> How can you possibly beat that? Press ground, baby. Don't mind me, you know, just hanging out with these gorgeous coon trails all afternoon. This fresh ground is looking phenomenal, guys. Uh, we're hustling, gonna go till dark. But it looks like we might be able to get close to 100 fresh sets out, which would be awesome. Not sure how well you guys can see all this, but just loaded with tracks. Uh, coming down into here. Got a pair of 220s. One's blocking this way. The other one's blocking this way. Both should be dead down in the middle. Well, guys, last spot we're, we're setting today. It's our uh, famous hot wire location. Uh, you've seen me film this a lot over the last few years. Uh, we're going to get these dog proof set. I think, I think we're right close to probably 100 fresh locations. Uh, not exactly sure what the number is, but um, it's good, real good. The the sign blew up. It's probably I probably should have stayed, set it heavier than what I did, honestly. Um, but we're gonna hopefully finish out this section tomorrow too with another 20 or so stops that I haven't got done to to finish out my my second loop um, setting it. But it's gonna be a big day tomorrow, guys. I have real good hopes for it. Uh, hopefully, we're at least back into the 60s at least. Um, still got some old stuff to check and some real fresh stuff stuff a couple days old, but it's gonna be good guys So we'll see you tomorrow for a good check Well, not a bad day uh, Considering the line I had out we came home with 39 more coon Which puts me at 416 uh, So I'm happy with that. We got a nice toad of a beaver another four skunks and 18 possums so uh, I'm happy with it. <clears throat> it's a long day, good day. Got a lot more gear out. I'm pretty pumped up, pretty motivated. So we'll just uh, have to wait and see what tomorrow brings.